Ben, if the kitchen is a faraway place in the house where the fridge holds cold beer and your most nutritious meal of the week is fish and chips, then this is a story for you. Kate Dorsey met an Adelaide man living on a fast food diet until his doctor told him to change or die. Now nearly 40 kilos lighter, he's written a man's manual to help men navigate their way around the kitchen and live a healthier life. I love junk food, you know, I, I, I loved it. I really enjoyed those times. Well, it is a frightening thing, actually, watching your, your partner's weight increase like that. It's, it's a bit of a silent killer, and it's becoming more of an epidemic, particularly the obesity side of it with men. Throughout his 20s, Forestville graphic designer Dean Lahn was on a collision course with life-threatening illness, literally eating himself to a premature death. I spent a lot of my life trying to live on junk food and um, it just wasn't feasible. I just, just couldn't do it. As much as I enjoyed it, I just couldn't do it. And so eat it, just eat it. Despite weighing more than 105 kilos, Dean just didn't worry about the obvious health risks of living purely on takeaway and fast foods. It was a lifestyle um, and ignorance is bliss and it was, um, it was great. But um, things change and um, you get older and things catch up with you. You know, Dean, you couldn't walk down to the corner shop. No, that's And, true. I mean, that's not a good sign that you can't walk down the street. No. You used to get in the car to go to the deli, you yeah, know, yeah. things like that. The mailbox um, is like, what, mm. 200 metres away? Mm. And I would drive there. But Dean's wife, Catherine, was increasingly concerned about Dean's health. I just thought, this is ridiculous. It's gone too far. He's huge. He's in pain. And I'm not doing anything and about it. And not doing anything about it, that's right. So I have a doctor who is very plain speaking. And I said, you're going to see him. The doctor rang me late one evening. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to die. So, yeah, then sort of really started to think seriously about how can I get off the junk food? Um, what steps I need to take? which involve getting into the kitchen. At lunch, what do you feel like? Oh, well you could do pizza. Pizza, I've got the dough ready to go. And by getting into the kitchen and creating his own versions of the fast food he loved and still craved, Dean started to slowly lose weight and importantly sustain that weight loss over time. I think anyone who focuses on something like that because it's huge to look at yourself and say, I need to change, and then to follow that through over the years. I mean, and still be there following that through. Couldn't be more proud. So Dean thought if it worked for him, maybe he could help others, and Beat, Heat, Eat was born. It's designed as a man's manual, a collection of basic recipes, tips and tricks. It isn't particularly healthy and definitely isn't gourmet, but it can provide a real alternative to fast food. Cooking doesn't need to be great, you know, that's what restaurants are for. You know, if you want great food, go out to a restaurant. Dean, what are you about to prepare for us today? It's a, uh, a chicken dish, I'm not sure what it's called. So we just, we coat up everything yeah. uh, and then we just dump it out onto a baking tray. Spread them out and, you know, I'm sure there's going to be like chefs out there going, oh my God, oh my God, you know, what's he doing? But, you know, that's okay. I'm not cooking for, um, to impress people. I'm just, I'm just cooking because I'm hungry. But obviously, it, you know, one of the, the basics is it has to taste good. Um, it has to be edible. <laughs> and that's, that's, you know, that's your goal. Anything from there, you're ahead. You win. That goes in the oven. I think when you're actually um, buying fast food, you don't actually know what's gone into the food. There's a disconnection from the whole process of preparing the food and knowing the ingredients that you use. 
Dietitian Peter Hill says giving men and women the basic skills to get into the kitchen and out of the drive through is a great first step towards healthier eating. To actually lose weight, you've got to push against all these influences of advertising, of um, snack foods, fast foods, and make time for yourself. But perhaps Dean himself has the most poignant advice. If you're not planning on like dying in the short term, just go and you've got to lose weight. Don't put pressure on yourself. Um, set goals and meet them, but just take it easy. I'm still lazy. And Beat, Heat, Eat is on bookshelves now. And as always, there's more information about that on our website.